NCIS Los Angeles is coming to an end. The long-running show kept us entertained for a memorable few years. Sadly, the Los Angeles NCIS team will be turning their badges in soon, and Daniela Rua has broken her silence in the aftermath of the news. The actress shared a photo of her character on Instagram. She's played the role of Kenzie Bly since the series premiere back in 2009, posting in both English and Portuguese from season one to season 14. From 24 years old to 39, it has been an absolute dream, she captioned the photo. She talked about how there were too many feelings to process and too many words to say, but she'd save them for a later date. The actress expressed how she was so grateful to have been a part of this NCIS LA family. She talked about how from day one, the cast, producers, and crew were amazing. The studio and network's partners and their team teamwork, talent, and spirit vividly came through on the screen. The actress said they were all so grateful, they planned to give their CBS family the send-off they deserve. She also thanked her fans, saying that the show lasted this long because of them. Fans also respond in the comments section of her emotional post. Many of them shared their disappointment at the show coming to an end. One person wrote that this was devastating. They added how much they loved the cast and would miss Rua playing. Kenzie Bly. How can this be happening? After 13 long years of crime solving and action, the show ending is something we're all having a hard time coming to terms with. Another fan added how they're going to miss everyone. They'd been watching the show since day one in 2009. The news of the crime solving drama's ending was announced on the 20th of January, and the president of CBS Entertainment, Amy Reisenbach, was the one to deliver it. In a statement, she said that for four 14 seasons, NCIS Los Angeles had been a stalwart in their lineup. She added that every character was a joy to watch. It's no surprise that the show succeeded so well as a global franchise. According to TV ratings, the last season of NCIS Los Angeles drew the largest audience in a year. The show airs on Sunday nights, and it doesn't have consistent start times during football season, but it still managed to remain a solid performer for CBS. Take a look at the statistics and see for yourself. Season 13 of NCIS Los Angeles averaged a 0.49 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic and a whopping 5.33 million viewers. It had one of the biggest increases, which rose to a 0.8 rating among adults. That was the highest tally for almost a year. In the season to date, NCIS LA is averaging about 6.2 million total viewers. Out of the 13 dramas that CBS has aired this season, it ranks at 12 in the total audience. The franchise had a recent three-way crossover event. In it, the NCIS LA Hour drew just shy of 10 million viewers. This marked the spinoff's biggest audience since March 17, 2019. Everyone knows it's becoming tougher and tougher to establish new shows these days. This means most networks are choosing to stick with proven performers more than ever before. If it weren't for the official news of the show ending, these numbers would have ensured another season of crime solving. But then again, even the cast members think it's time to say goodbye now. The actor behind Special Agent Sam Hanna, LL Cool J, took to Instagram to make a post about it. He's one of the three main cast members who've been with the show since day one. The actor and rapper noted that the three-part NCIS crossover ended up being a massive success. He also thanked the show millions of fans for their support, which resulted in some of the best ratings in years. Cool J noted that season 14 was the perfect time to be ending the long-running show. He closed out his post on a happy note, saying CBS had been a great partner. Apparently, he has some other exciting projects in the works. Eric Christian Olsen also made a post about the bittersweet news. The actor joined NCIS LA as Marty Deeks late back in season one, and he's been around ever since. He posted on Instagram explaining
explaining how this journey has meant a lot to the cast and crew of this show. Other NCIS actors also weighed in on the news. Brian Dietzen plays Jimmy Palmer in the flagship series. He's also worked with the LA cast when the two NCIS shows crossed over. The actor commented on Olsen's post, saying it had been a great ride. Another NCIS family member, Caleb Castile, joined the cast in 2020 as Devin Roundtree. He's been helping the crew solve crime ever since. While commenting on his co-star's post, he uploaded his thoughts as well. The actor took to Twitter to reflect on his time on NCIS LA as well. He wrote how incredibly sad he was about the news that the season won't be coming back. Castile made sure to talk about how 14 entire seasons was an amazing accomplishment. He sent a shout out to the best fans crew in the world, adding that he's eternally grateful for the opportunity to be special agent Devin Roundtree. Medallion Rahimi, who joined NCIS LA as special agent Fatima Namazi, left a comment under her co-star's post. She wrote a lovely note to Daniela Rua saying, Rain on forever, my queen, with a heart emoji at the end. Seeing as how everyone from the cast and crew to the fans are so sentimental about the show ending, calling this an emotional ending would be a bit of an understatement. But apart from being sad, fans are also a bit concerned. Here's why. Everyone wondering, what does this mean for NCIS and its spin-off NCIS Hawaii? Following LA's cancellation, fans couldn't help but show how worried they were. One person tweeted how they were very upset about NCIS Los Angeles being canceled after this season. They added that the NCIS series is among the very few television shows they enjoy. The fan also expressed their concern. They ended the tweet by saying they hoped NCIS and NCIS Hawaii would keep going for more seasons to come. Even though the ratings might be slightly down compared to season 19, NCIS is still one of America's most watched shows on TV, so it's not very likely that the drama will be canceled before season 21. I mean, if you look at the numbers, it's pretty clear NCIS is in the safe zone. But there's one more question. Will NCIS Hawaii be canceled? CBS is yet to renew the drama for a third season, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't come back. Not only has NCIS Hawaii shown no signs of slowing down, but it attracted over 7 million viewers during the crossover event, an all-time high for the series. The episode drew an additional 3.19 million viewers in live plus 7-day playback, making the total number 10.55 million. Vanessa Lachey, who plays Jane Tennant on the show, took to Twitter and thanked fans for their support. She wrote about how shocked she was. The NCIS triple crossover was the most watched TV across all networks combined, and the highest since the NCAA finals in 2021. The actress added that it's no surprise this happened because of how incredible the fans are. She ended her tweet by thanking them in Hawaiian, saying, Mahalo. Reading all these tweets, it's clear the cast has a lot of love for each, but it's still a bummer to see it come to an end. However, it's not over yet. There is still a half season left before we say goodbye to NCIS Los Angeles. Till then, let's enjoy the ride. It's for you. Thanks. I'll take you to your room. Yes, we're doing this. Mm -hmm.